Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divine to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the Bright Side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, if you have questions about formulations, ingredients, something you may have read about or heard about in the paper or on the news, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or if you want to uh, ask, uh, contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. They're friendly and knowledgeable and know all about the longevity products. And you can also ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and of course, get your products at the wholesale price. If you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol Gel, if you're dealing with acne or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or if you just want a, an anti-aging product to prevent wrinkle, wrinkles or to reverse wrinkles, retinol has also been shown not just to prevent wrinkle formation, but actually to reverse them. You want to know about our retinol 5% gel. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. In addition to our other Truth Skin Health products, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, silicones, oils, water, or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just 100% active and functional ingredients. That's why the products last you months. Retinol 5% gel can last you six months. Omega-6 healing cream can last you three months. Our Truth Serum can last you two to three months as well as our Truth Balm. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. If you're gaining weight or you can't lose it, even if you're dieting or you've plateaued when you're trying to lose weight, say you lost uh, 50 pounds and now you can't seem to lose any more weight, if you have insomnia, if you wake up and can't go back to sleep, if you're dizzy when you stand up or sit up from a sitting or prone position, if you feel wired all the time and you can't relax, if you can't get by without coffee, if you can't wake up in the morning without coffee, even after you had a good night's sleep, if you find yourself becoming more energized towards the end of the day, if even a little bit of stress throws you off your game, if you're dealing with chronic brain fog, uh, an inability to work out or exercise, if you've got cravings for salty food, if you've got dark circles under your eyes, if you have female reproductive issues, if you're dealing with a lousy menopause, or if you're hypothyroid, particularly if you're hypothyroid and your synthroid or your, your thyroid medication isn't working, the chances are pretty good that you're dealing with adrenal issues, particularly what we've been calling adrenal fatigue. Now, most people, most people listen to this program, of course, know that the adrenal glands are our stress glands. 
They secrete chemicals that help us handle stress, chemicals that we refer to as stress hormones, particularly cortisol as well as adrenaline, and the hormone that no one talks about, our blood pressure hormone, aldosterone, which controls our electrolytes, i.e. our salts. Via the aldosterone hormone, the adrenal glands become our salt glands which means that if we're under a lot of stress, if our adrenal glands are working overtime, we're likely going to be having a problem with salt in terms of deficiencies in salt and in terms of salt cravings. And if you try to go on a low salt diet, you're only going to make matters worse. And this is probably why a study cited in the Wall Street Journal in August of 2014 that tracked more than 100,000 people from 17 countries over an average of more than three years found that, that uh, uh, those who consumed fewer than 3,000 milligrams of sodium a day had a 27% higher risk of death or a serious event like a heart attack or stroke than those whose intake was 3,000 to 6,000 milligrams a day. In other words, the more salt you took, the better off you were. The study also found that 4.3% of those who consumed low levels of sodium either died or suffered a heart attack or stroke or developed heart failure, whereas only 3% who uh, of the folks who did 3,000 to 6,000 milligrams, again, showing that the more salt you take, the more protection you got for your heart. Now, I'm not saying here that salt, which most people consider to be just sodium and chloride, is some kind of cure-all and lifesaver, but I am saying we need the stuff. This is the fallacy of a low-salt diet. And by the way, it's not just sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride are table salt. So when they talk about low-salt, they really mean low sodium. That's what they're talking about. They're not talking about the other electrolytes. This is, this is how you can tell that the medical model is ignorant of biochemistry. When a doctor says low salt or low sodium, he's referring to low sodium. When a doctor says low salt, he's referring to low sodium. They don't make a distinction between all the other salts and table salt. So when they say low salt, they're talking about low mortons, low table salt. When I talk about salt from a biochemistry point of view, I'm talking about the electrolytes, and that includes, in addition to sodium and chloride, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. These are all known as the electrolytes, and thus the importance of Celtic sea salt, or also Himalayan salt, both of which contain all the major electrolytes. In addition to other trace and accessory minerals, things like boron and molybdenum and manganese and silicon and phosphorus, both of which, by the way, are necessary for you to get calcium into your bones and into your connective tissue, vanadium and chromium and magnesium and potassium, not to mention lithium and nickel and cobalt and gold and oxygen, pretty much every other mineral that's found in the earth or in the ocean is going to be in your Himalayan salt or your Celtic sea salt. You can taste the difference. If you start using Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, you're not going to want to go back to Morton's or table salt. They taste different. You get a much richer, denser, saltier taste from Celtic sea salt and Himalayan salt. It's delicious. On the other hand, Morton's, or any table salt really, any standardized salt, is based in something called rock salt. It's got a bunch of inedit inedible rock elements in it, including gypsum, which is used to make concrete or cement or drywall, I should say. And they have to heat it to super high temperatures, 1,200 degrees or so. Then they add anti-caking agents, ferrocyanide, aluminum silicate. They throw in a little potassium iodine included because supposedly we don't get enough iodine in our diets. And we don't unless we're living near the ocean and enjoying a lot of seafood. In other words, when we eat table salt, we're getting sodium, we're getting chloride, we're getting processing chemicals and a little iodine. When we eat Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt or some kind of ocean salt, we're getting everything. It's a no-brainer, really, when you think about it, not to mention the fact that Celtic sea salt and Himalayan salt taste so darn good. If you're dealing with long-term adrenal fatigue issues, the chances are pretty darn good that you got an electrolyte imbalance, and that means you want to be thinking about using Celtic sea salt and Himalayan salt regularly. Put it in water and drink it. It'll taste delicious. I know I've said that so many times. It's important not just for, not just because it tastes delicious and not just for your adrenal glands, but you can feel the energy. You can actually feel more energized, especially if you're under a lot of stress. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll take a quick break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, if you want to make some money selling longevity products and uh, or just get your products at the wholesale price, all you need is a $25 fee, and you can call the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. Their number is 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. We've got a skin health blog as well as all our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Serum, all up at truthtreatments.com. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. We're talking about DHEA and aldosterone and the adrenal glands, adrenal fatigue, using sea salt and Celtic sea salt for energy. If you're under stress, you will especially, well, if you're under stress, you're going to especially love salt. Salt cravings are a classic sign of adrenal distress. And uh, using, using Celtic sea salt, a little bit of Celtic sea salt and water or Himalayan salt and water is not only a great way to to uh, maintain and to replace and to restore your electrolytes, it's also super, super tasty. And by the way, a lot of folks are drinking water these days, lots of water, bottle, uh, bottle water, people are carrying around water bottles with them, and that's great. And rehydration is great, and dehydration is a problem, especially first thing in the morning. You know, you can drink water first thing in the morning and get energy. If you guzzle a huge amount of water, like three cups of cold water right away in the morning, you're going to notice significant energy. This is true during the day. Dehydration is one of the reasons why we get tired in the middle of the day. So water is important, super important. The body's 60 to 70% water. We all know water is important. But the more, more water we're drinking, the more electrolytes we're losing. So drinking lots of water or drinking lots of any liquid, really, without replacing your electrolytes can make you feel worse. So... If you're drinking lots of water and you're still not getting the kind of energy or the kind of buzz that you should be getting when, you're, when you rehydrate, the chances are pretty good that you're losing electrolytes, which is why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is so helpful. That's why I tell folks to drink Beyond Tangy Tangerine water throughout the day, not just water. And that's why I recommend that you drink your Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. Not just first thing in the morning, not just once a day or twice a day, but throughout the day. Not only will you be rehydrating throughout the day, but you'll also be giving yourself electrolytes. And this is what the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really is. It's a, well, it's a lot of things, but one of its main purposes or one of its main benefits is it's an electrolyte replacement drink. So using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day will not only get you rehydrated as you're drinking your BTT water, but it will also get you your electrolytes. If you suspect dehydration, it's not enough to just drink water. You got to drink your electrolytes with your water. Now, you can do Celtic sea salt and water. That's great, too. But if you do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you're going to get all sorts of other nutrients that you're not going to get in your Celtic sea salt or in your Himalayan salt. You're going to get your B vitamins. You're going to get vitamin C. And after all, when you're drinking lots of water, you're not just excreting electrolytes. You're also eliminating vitamin C. You're also eliminating the B complex. So you're, uh, not just your, your energizing electrolytes are coming out in your urine as you drink more water, but also your all-important energizing vitamins, the B vitamins, and your all-important super protective vitamin, the vitamin C. Vitamin C is, is beyond, just it's stunning in its nutritional and health importance. You know, you can't make neurotransmitters, brain chemicals, without, effectively without vitamin C. You can't make your hormones effectively without vitamin C. You can't make connective tissue effectively without vitamin C. It's just unbelievable how important this stuff is, and we don't get enough anyway. The recommended daily allowance of vitamin C is a paltry 60 to 100 milligrams. Actually, it used to be 60. I think they raised it to 100 milligrams. You could, it's like a couple specks of the stuff. So if you're drinking water, great. Make sure you're replacing your new, uh, electrolytes and make sure you're replacing your vitamin C, however, and, of course, your B complex. Then we come to our PPD hormones, progesterone, pregnenolone. Oh, by the way, soft drinks also have, are a big problem. Coffee is also a big problem. So if you're drinking a lot of coffee, you're drinking a lot of soft drinks, you're also going to uh, run into an electrolyte problem. Then we come to our PPD hormones, progesterone, pregnenolone, and DHEA, particularly DHEA, which is a major, major, major adrenal hormone. It's a major body hormone. 
but super important for the adrenal glands. Not that pregnenolone's not either, and progesterone is also important for the adrenal glands, but nothing touches DHEA in terms of its relevance for, the, uh, for adrenal health, and also if you're dealing with adrenal fatigue. Start off with a small dose. You don't want to take too much of the stuff. 10 milligrams, 5 to 10 milligrams a day. And then work yourself up. I know they make higher doses, and I, I was talking to my friend Bruce. I don't know if you're listening out there, Bruce. He was start taking 50 milligrams a day and told me he's feeling amazing. I don't know if I would take that much to start. Start off with 10 milligrams, maybe 20 milligrams, and work yourself up and see what happens. If you take too much DHEA, you may find that your hair is thinning or you're breaking out. Your skin is a little bit oily, perhaps. Or uh, for women, you may get some, some hair in your arms or some facial hair. You, as soon as you lower your dose, the problems tend to disappear. Later on, we're going to be talking about another uh, a special form of DHEA called 7-keto DHEA, which will allow you to bypass some of these uh, some of these secondary sex characteristic side effects that you get with DHEA. It is pricier, and you won't get the testosterone benefits. One of the neat things about DHEA is you get, for men anyway, and for women, is you get a surge in testosterone, and that can be very important for muscle building, for sexuality, for libido, for healing, for bone, and rep uh, for bone growth, and for repair. So DHEA is super important. Not only is it going to stable your adrenal glands, but it also helps balance out your cortisol levels. It helps balance out your stress hormone levels. And this can be really important, not just if you're dealing with stress hormone issues, cortisol and aldosterone, but it can also be very helpful for folks who are dealing, who are on a, a prescription drug called prednisone or any steroid prescription drug, even asthma inhalers, if you're on those long-term steroid inhalers. You might want to think about balancing out cortisol, prednisone, steroid chemicals with steroid drugs, I should say, with some DHEA. And it also helps balance out aldosterone. That means it's going to be important for your blood pressure. According to a 2008 article in the Journal of Biomedical Sciences, DHEA has a direct effect on adrenal glands, on adrenal cells, and diminishes aldosterone secretion. And that makes DHEA not just important for the uh, adrenal glands, but also important for the cardiovascular system. DHEA can help lower blood pressure. DHEA can help slow down plaque formation. DHEA can help reduce atherosclerosis and reduce your risk of a heart attack and a stroke. And DHEA also is an anti-inflammatory. It's, uh, it's an immune booster. It strengthens the immune system and reduces inflammation. It also helps with muscle development and, of course, perhaps its most notable benefit, DHEA's most notable benefit, is it's important for weight loss. In a study published in the Journal of Biochemical Pharmacology in April 2000, researchers found that DHEA administration to stressed out animals resulted in a, quote, significant inhibition in body weight gain, unquote. 15% inhibition in body weight and an almost 60% decrease in plasma triglycerides, blood fats, as compared to uh, c uh, unstressed animals, controlled unstressed animals. That's really significant, folks. And the stuff is dirt cheap and pretty much readily available via the Internet and, and, uh, and intelligent health, store, health food stores. A lot of health food stores aren't carrying DHA because they're paranoid. But you can find it in a, uh, in a good health food store as well as on the Internet. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get you in just a moment. And we do have uh, four lines open for you. If you have uh, questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can search both those pages if you want to review a subject or you want to direct one of your friends or loved ones or customers or clients to a specific subject. Head over to brightsideben.com or... or uh, BenFuchsArchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. And of course, you can also purchase Longevity products from BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, or CriticalHealthNews.com. Make sure you take a look at our Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Powder 
drink that you add to water and sip on all throughout the day. If you're like most folks, you'll notice energy, you'll notice lower blood pressure, you'll notice appetite suppression and weight loss as well. And of course, if you're dealing with adrenal fatigue issues, you will be replacing your electrolytes throughout the day as you should be. Vegetable juices, of course, are another wonderful way to replace electrolytes, getting a Vitamix. I know they're kind of pricey, four or $500 for a Vitamix, but man, it's gonna be the best $400, $500 you spend for your health, that's for sure. All kinds of things you could do with your Vitamix, including grating cheese, making bread, making your own almond butter, or peanut butter if you so desire peanuts. And of course, uh, you can make awesome vegetable juices in a Vitamix. All right, so let's see here. Minerals in Himalayan pink salt. You know you have, let's check out, there's 84 minerals in Himalayan pink salt. The pink, by the way, is iron. So you get iron in there as well. It tastes great too. I personally like Celtic sea salt a little bit better uh, in terms of taste, but Himalayan salt is good too. From the, uh, this is from the journal Pharmacology. Vitamin K2 impairment by statin drugs can cause cardiovascular disease. How do you like that? Statin drugs, by depleting your body of vitamin K2, by depleting your body or, or impairing your body's ability to make vitamin K2 or to impairing bacteria's ability to make vitamin K2, will actually have negative effects on your heart. You take a statin drug for a heart attack and now you don't make vitamin K2, so now you're at higher risk for heart disease from the statin drug that you took in the first place to protect your heart. This is the utter, a classic example of the utter stupidity of the pharmacomedical model that could give a rat's you know what about our health. Not the doctor, I'm not blaming the individuals here. I'm blaming the model. The pharmacomedical model that purports to care about humanity, to take care of human beings by poisoning them. The utter intellectual bankruptcy, the stupidity of this idea is now underlied by the fact that vitamin K2, which is super important for the heart and bones for that matter, vitamin K2 production is impaired uh, by, or vitamin K2 activity is impaired by statin drugs. We already know that statin drugs will impair the body's ability to make coenzyme Q10, which is also critically important for the heart. And we know, even the FDA recognizes that statin drugs may increase your risk for diabetes, which is also a, a, a way to mess up your cardiovascular system. But yet we still take these statin drugs. This is hypnosis, folks. This is entrancement. If we are taking a statin drug or we have bought this meme, this belief system, this mind virus, that cholesterol is somehow some kind of bad guy, manufacturing of cholesterol is somehow the demon behind heart disease. If we buy that lie and we take a statin drug because our doctor told us to, then we deserve what we're getting. We have to examine our beliefs. We have to be very skeptical about what we're told by the medical model. They are not our friends. Again, I'm not blaming individual doctors here. If you are taking a statin drug, please, it becomes incredibly important. Number one, if you're on a statin drug and 40% of Americans over the age of 50 or 60 are on one, a lot of people are taking them, kids are taking them. If you're on a statin drug, Get yourself on coenzyme Q10. Get yourself on a good vitamin K2 supplement. You want about maybe 50 to 100 milligrams of CoQ10 in its oil-soluble form a day. You want 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms of vitamin K2 a day. And watch out for your, uh, uh, make sure you're taking nutrients that help your body process sugar. Keep your blood sugar stable. If you're on a statin drug, keep your blood sugar stable, use your Sweeties, use your Ultimate Niacin, use your B-Complex and your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you're on a statin drug, make sure you're taking vitamin K2. If you're on a statin drug, make sure you're using coenzyme Q10. And you know what? Once you start doing all those supplements, you probably won't even need this statin drug. Not that you ever really need a statin drug. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Carl, the Truth Raider. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Good morning, Benjamin. Now, Good morning. It may be stupid, but they certainly are not dumb. Okay. They know exactly what they're doing. Who? Now, wait a minute. Who would be specific here? Who are you talking about? You talking about? You're discussing the medical model. The medical model. Okay, got it. Okay. Now, my father was a doctor. Okay. My stepmother was a nurse, a full RN. So you were steeped in the medical model. So if you need an interview about this, yeah. you got the guy to come to to interview in the future if you choose to. What woke you up? How come you're not? How come you didn't drink the Kool Aid? <laughs> Experience and seeing and watching, researching, 
living it yeah. day by day, year yeah. by year, decade by decade. That's how you find out about it. Yeah, you got to wake up. And see what's in the materials. Examine every bottle of pills out there, ladies and gentlemen. Read the, the, the ingredients and then research what goes into making those. Thank you. And also question everything. Question authority. You know, you, the, the, the famous philosopher Socrates, right? You've heard of Socrates. You know, he was, uh, you know, he was put to death by the Greek authorities. You know what his crime was? Truth. <laughs> Pretty much. He was telling, they got him for corrupting the youth because he, he was telling the youth to question authority. So they right. got him for the, his charges were corrupting the youth. I love that. All hey, right, I got to motivate, Carl. You have well, something. I've got something to talk about. I got something okay, to talk go ahead. About, but I'll, I'll close with this. No. Yes. Truth today is the new hate crime. All right. <laughs> now, yes, avocados. Truth. Anyway, my feet are really sore. I just got back from Austin, and I just let you know. I, I swelled. Oh, up. I want to hear about that. It, I, I swelled up in the humidity. Something about my body was so used to the temperatures. And the humidity level here. You talk about humidity. Portland is not nearly as as bad as Austin in the summertime. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, I know. Anyway, That's I had a successful weird. trip down there, but it was very painful, but very much worth it. Okay, now, well, I, I want to hear all about it, but I got, I got a bunch of people I want to talk to right. here, so we'll That's, have to we'll have, the, to have you on the, just for that. Yeah, let's get to the question here. Avocados. Yeah. What can I do if I seem to have an um, allergy to avocado? Are you sure? I never heard of an allergy to avocados. If you have an I, allergy to avocados, very unfortunate because that is one of the most delicious foods on God's green earth. And, I love them. Oh man, and it's so good for you. You could live on avocados. It makes me well, feel you, kind of swollen and bloated feeling. Does it? And Interesting. It a little bit. What is going on there? I never heard of an allergy to avocados. You, you can be allergic to anything, I suppose. I've been but, eating them for many, many, many years, and I love and them. And all of a sudden, sudden you can't eat them. One of them, or one or two of them. If I eat more than one or two of them, yeah. I will bloat. I will get some type of a, an allergy symptom where my stomach feels like it's distended. Uh, that's and interesting. Still gaseous. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, I, I have to check that out. Make sure, uh, it sounds like you might have a problem with fats more than with yeah. avocados. Right. And that, right. that would be ind indicative of a gallbladder problem or an intestinal problem. Uh, do other fats yeah. give you a hard time? Give you a, a problem? Not a coconut oil? I notice, unless I'm eating something really terrible. <laughs> hang on. We, I'm going to take a break here. We'll come, okay. we'll come back to you. Hang on, Carl, okay? And if you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Hey Carl, nothing personal. I'm going to go real fast here. Uh, uh, and you're, uh, are you there, Carl? Yes. Yeah. By the okay, way, so avocado. Quick, yeah. I want to throw this in. Himalayan yeah. sea salt. I love it. I'm taking it. Go ahead. Good deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Avocado allergy. The way you're describing it is not an allergy. I was talking to my producer here when we were off air, and he said his son had an avocado allergy. And uh, uh, the way yeah. son, uh, the way he described his son's reaction is he had spots and red, a uh, red rash. That's more of an allergic reaction. A messed up gut is more of a digestive problem than an allergic reaction. Um, avocados are high in fat, and uh, it may be that you're just not processing your fats. If you have rashes, uh, or if Benadryl works, if you take your, uh, if you if you eat your avocado and you get your reaction, and then you take some Benadryl and it works to relieve your symptoms, that's an allergic reaction. An antihistamine reduces allergic reactions but if you just have a growling stomach or crampy or just weird you know not feeling good in your belly that's more mm -hmm. of a digestive intolerance than an okay. allergic reaction and for Got that it. I would be looking at digestive enzymes or maybe you have gallbladder or intestinal problem but focus on focus on fat malabsorption that's really where we end up aging dramatically is when we don't absorb our fats and this is really common so you always want to and I know we focus on fats on this program all the time it's so so important to really pay attention to how your body's processing fats number one and to use support for fat absorption or fat, for fat digestion things like lecithin and apple cider vinegar and uh, uh, digestive enzymes the ultimate enzymes and probiotics these are all very helpful for uh, for helping the body process fats fiber bile salts all these are super duper important and of course because bile is made from cholesterol if you're doing a statin drug that is going to further impair fat absorption and fat processing as we talked about vitamin k and coenzyme q10 but all fat processing is going to be impaired. And by the way, bile is also a detox substance. So if you take a statin drug, reduce your cholesterol, then reduce your bile, not only will you not be absorbing fats and fatty vitamins as effectively, but you also won't be 
detoxing as effectively either. All of which is to say, focus on fats, stay away from statin drugs, and eat cholesterol. Eat cholesterol, yes. This is from uh, Science Daily. Cholesterol may actually pose benefits, and that's LDL, by the way. The so-called bad cholesterol is used for the body, uh, helping the body repair. This article uh, talks about eating eggs and, and bacon. I don't know about bacon, but certainly eating eggs can be a powerful health strategy. I love bacon. Especially, especially because of the cholesterol. I know you love bacon, but it's the fat and the salt. It's not the bacon. Mm, All right, bacon. All right, choose Raider. Got to, got to motivate. Thanks for your call, bro. Okay, let's go to um, let's go to Jason in Canada. Welcome to the bright side, Jason. What's up, man? Good morning, Ben. How's it going? It's going good. How you doing? Where in Canada are you? Are you Toronto? Uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. I love Vancouver. What's going uh, on? How can I help you? Yes. Um, I've had I've had a severe peanut allergy ever since I was small. And I was just I just want to ask you: Is there any way to reverse that? Or is that no, different? not if it's a peanut allergy. You're okay. once your immune system becomes sensitized to something. I don't know that it's. it's I, you know, there's some desensitization things that they do, but really, no. And you don't need peanuts. They're not a great food anyway. They're slave food. You know, the, the, the way peanuts were developed was as cheap food for slaves and, and sharecroppers down south. It's not a great food. There is, there's some good stuff in peanuts. I'm not, I'm not knocking the, the peanut. There's certainly a lot of protein, relatively a lot of protein in peanut, but you can get away without eating peanuts. Uh, can you do other nuts? Peanuts aren't nuts. They're beans, of course. They're legumes. But can you do almonds or walnuts or Brazil nuts or anything like that yes i can do everything except peanuts you know what stay away from the peanuts bro that would be my advice to you all right thanks appreciate it all right jason take care man yeah peanuts they're not bad food necessarily but you can certainly do without peanuts which are legumes and of course you have that whole aflatoxin issue as well all right let's go to uh david in pennsylvania welcome to the bright side david what's up man hey good morning ben i had a quick question sure well, two quick questions one was eggs um i love eggs uh for the past three months i've been taking raw eggs and didn't mm-hmm. know if there was a big benefit between raw eggs and major benefit eggs. major benefit okay. to raw eggs there is a couple downsides to raw eggs you got to be a little careful uh, raw eggs contain a substance that will tie up a very under recognized and important vitamin called biotin so make sure you're getting your B vitamins, including biotin, um, through the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or maybe biotin supplements. That's number one. And the second issue, of course, is the egg has to be fresh and no cracks, and you still may run a very slight risk of a thing, something like a food poisoning, like salmonella. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but that's just something that you want to think about. Other than that, raw eggs are amazingly amazingly nutritionally valuable and one of the problems on e- with eggs that doesn't get recognized when we talk about how valuable they are is cooking eggs see eggs are made up of these fats that we've been talking about largely eggs have everything really but they have a large part a large uh, a large portion of the of the egg itself is made up of fatty material particularly cholesterol as you probably know now while cholesterol itself is really good stuff and very important stuff burnt cholesterol is not oxidized cholesterol. It's called oxycholesterol. That's a problem. And while it's true that there's things in the egg that protect the cholesterol, when you heat the egg, that's really where you run into problems. So if raw eggs are absolutely the way to do it, poaching, of course, salt, soft boiling is a little bit better. What you want to stay away from is really cooking the heck out of an egg with high heat, uh, particularly scrambling an egg uh, with high heat. Any Anytime you heat a fat, you're going to run into problems. That's the problem with, with vegetable oils. So uh, raw eggs is really the way to go if you're going to do it. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you do it by itself or you mix it with a smoothie or how do you do your raw eggs? Well, what I used to do was take uh, the One World Whey powder and then I decided to start throwing in some an egg. Raw eggs with the milk and uh, and the powder, and uh, I ran out of powder not, about two months ago, and just haven't got around to ordering any new anything new. But what I'll do is I'll mix two eggs and some uh, vanilla milk or, or regular mm. milk and some chocolate milk. Mix it all up, and it has a very sweet smell to it, almost like a cake batter smell. Yeah, that, well, that's and what tastes that's... fine. Yeah, yeah. It's it, not like real slimy or anything. No, like that. it's not. It's creamy. It makes everything creamy and almost with a hint of vanilla. It's really delicious. I, I don't think yeah. I could do texturally. I couldn't do a raw egg just crack it out of the yolk. But in a smoothie, it's crazy not to throw in that nutritional value. Just make sure you take your B vitamins with it and make sure your egg is well, fresh. Well, 
Well, I'd definitely take uh, BTC, and then also I get the eggs from uh, someone locally that uh, nice. does all organic. Nice. So I Where do you live? Good. Where in PA uh, are you? Pen- uh, uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful country. All right, David. Uh, one yeah? other quick question, Ben. I'm sorry. Go um, ahead. My wife's not a real big fan of milk or at least raw organic milk because she thinks that there's, uh, I guess, certain bacteria or certain things that would normally go into calves that when you have homogenized milk, it uh, kills that bacteria or pasteurized. It kills right. that bacteria. You kill and everything so else, though. You kill everything else is the problem. Drink it so right out of the cow. Raw- Raw is the way to go. As long as, but you you know, your wife's point is well taken. You got to make sure that it's clean, and you got to make sure it's from a clean cow. And cows get these infections on their udders sometimes, and that stuff goes out into the milk. And you know, dairy's tricky. It's definitely valuable in terms of what's in there, but it's just tricky. If you're if you have a, if you're sure the stuff is fresh and you know clean, then it is a, certainly a power food. As long as you can do dairy, a lot of folks can't. But as long as you can do dairy, it's it's a power food. There's very few foods to equal the the nutritional value of good clean dairy, but you got to make sure it's good, clean dairy. Pasteurized, though, it doesn't count, and homogenized doesn't count. That is not good food. That is bad food. Very bad food. All right, I got to go, David. Thank you so much, man. Have a beautiful day, Thanks, brother. Man. Good to talk to you. All right, Reed in Colorado. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Thanks. Um, I'm the type of person that consumes cannabis for all the, the good health reasons. I don't really do it to get high, per se. Okay. Do you um, get high? Or does it I make do, you high? That's, yeah. that's, kind of one of the that's not. Effects. That's a side effect, kind of. Yeah. Okay. But um, I was wondering, when looking for jobs, it kind of kind of gets in the way. I was wondering, would eating fat would that help detoxify it? Uh, if you ate, yeah, eating fat with your with your with smoking the cannabis might help, but it might, it might also pull out some cannabis that's stored. So if you were like have a drug test and then like eat fat like a couple days before your drug test, you may pull out cannabis, especially if you've been smoking for a while. I mean, if you've been smoking for a while, rest assured you got cannabis everywhere. That stuff is yeah, sticky. I, you ever I, look I at the inside while, of a pipe? Yeah. You know, the inside of a pipe or the inside of a bong, that stuff's sticky. That's the thing about, about fatty substances. That's why they're so important to work with because fat is sticky, watery, is, it, it flows. It, it comes right off. Yep. Fatty stuff is tough. You know, you're going to have a hard time if you've been smoking a while because it's in your body and it ain't coming okay. out. All right, Reed, I got to go. Thanks so much for your call, man. Sorry if we left you on hold. I apologize. Got a call earlier on the program. We'll try to get to as many calls as possible. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, love to have you check out our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, as well as our Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Also love to have you on our Bright Side Ben team. Call 866-735-2470. And uh, tell me you want to join the Bright Side Ben team. You can also sign up right from the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular, day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.